everyone, this is Beth from Art by Bedell, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Our prompt for Junk Journal January on this seventh day of January is Shimmer. So I have these paints that have been discontinued by uh, Angel Wang Enterprises, and they're called Radiant Pearls. They were very, very popular paints back in their day. Anyhow, they are mica paints. So they have quite a bit of shimmer to them. And I'm going to start by applying them to this page in my journal. And this page is created from a piece of book paper. And to start it, I have prepped it with some gesso. So I will just take a water brush and my paints and then just, whoops, spill them all over my surface and then I'm just going to randomly paint them on my page. Now these are like more like an oil based paint wherein uh, they're not going to dry fast. They're going to take a while to dry so I'm going to get them painted and then I'm going to have to let them set a couple hours for them to completely dry before I can work on my project some more. So I'm just going to show you the colors that I'm adding. This is the, what did I say it was? The Lime Squeeze. And then we have the Raspberry Kiss. So I'm doing my pink and my green. And then I have the Brass Rail that's kind of my brown color that I'm going to do. And I'm going to apply it to both sides, even though this is a two-page spread and I won't get to this until, you know, a couple of days later. I'm sure it'll still be fine <laughs> as far as using these colors and having shimmer on, on whatever prompt that page might end up being. So there's the pink and then and then I'm going to go through, I'm just showing you the colors. I'm going to go through and cover this whole page. And then the brass rail, let's see if we like it. We'll put it along the edge. I think it'll be fine. Yes, it'll be fine. And that really has some shimmer. So there we go. I am going to go come fill this page and when it's all done, I'll be back. All right, I have my color all laid down and it's not dry. And I have these, they're called color dusters. Back in the day when these paints were so popular, Judy Ken's was the company that made these colored dusters. And what happens is these paints, they'll blend beautifully without losing their color. And so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna stipple all the way around and blend the edges of these paints together, just like this. And my dusters are old <laughs> and they're losing some of the hairs. So we're gonna have to brush the hairs off. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm gonna go pounce and it's gonna take me a few minutes to pounce, so. I feel that those are blended quite well. And my next step will be to take a piece of paper and I'm just gonna take this one that I've started with wiping up the ink and I'm gonna lay it on here and I'm gonna rub it and pick up the excess paint. Now, part of the novelty of these paints is a little tiny bit goes a very long ways, which is why I still have some of them left, is because they go forever. Part of the holdback from these paints is that they take a long time to dry. Here we go. I'm going to let this sit and dry, and I'll get back to you. Is bling and shimmer the same thing? The question of the day. I am going to add bling, I have shimmer, and I'm going to add some bling also. Now for this page, I don't want to cover the whole thing up because that's my prompt, but I do want to put a journaling spot in there. So I'm just going to use this little piece of paper and it's coffee stained copy paper. Take my vintage photo and just go along the outside edge. So my next question would be glimmer and bling. Does it match grungy? It's going to for me. You can put the two together. And then uh, this is our next page in our journal. I'm gonna be using that also. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up around the whole outside and inside edge of this. There we have that. I also wanna stamp some journaling lines on this side. And I'll do that with my stamp and my vintage photo. I also added journaling lines to my panel that I'm putting on the inside over here. So I will glue this down 
So I have torn down a piece of vellum to the correct size and I want to ink up along the edge of it. And for a little more interest, I want to stamp and emboss my script stamp with silver embossing powder on the vellum. I want to go down on the right hand side. That adds a little more shimmer to our page. So I'll attach the top of this with just a, a little stream of glue here. And it doesn't really matter if it shows through because I'm gonna be covering it up anyhow. Now the next thing I want to do, oops, I add some Monogami paper to the top and a piece of lace. Our vellum's curling a little, but that's okay because it's going to flatten out. Underneath that, I want to add my number seven. Maybe I even want it over here. I do want it over here. So I will put the glue on the back of that. Then I have chosen this hollyhock flower to put down in the left-hand corner. So I want to ink up around the edge of that. I feel like a broken record. I'm going to ink up around the edge of that. <laughs> I think my my um, most common used lines. I'm going to ink up around the edge of that and let's glue that down. <laughs> okay. I also have this piece of doily, paper doily. I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to glue it on the edge like that for now. So about half of it. And then I'm going to apply it to the edge of my piece of vellum over here. And the doily is going to go off the edge, so I don't want to put glue behind it there. I could make a nice little tuck spot here, too. I think I will. So in making a little tuck spot, I'm just going to glue on the long left-hand side and the bottom. Let's see. I think I will do gratitude on this page and thought of the day over here. So I'll glue my gratitude down over underneath my vellum by my seven. And to add a little more bling yet, I have some of these gems. Let's see, I know I want to use the, the littler ones shine better. Let's pull them out. Maybe we'll take the little ones and put them down here and save some for the next page and then we'll take the bigger ones and put them across the top. I think this certainly makes this shimmery between our embossing, our little bling here, gemstones, and then our paint that we put on the back, pretty shimmery. So that takes care of our gratitude side. Now on the other side is where my thought for the day is going to go. And I want to add, I was going to add this, but that's really, that's gold. And I have put silver on all of that over there. So can I get away with adding gold? Let that sit there a minute and think about it while we put the edge on the bottom that I wanted to do. So I have another piece of lace and I have another piece of vellum. Let me ink up the vellum. Put that on first. I'm carrying elements from the left to the right. Put the lace or the vellum on top of that. And then I have some of the Maruyama paper here. And then my thought for the day there. So I'll glue that all down. And that little extra row of bling that we had will go on here. There we go. Get some shimmer on this page. Now to decide what we are going to do about this gold flower. I'm thinking that I don't want it. Let's go to some silver. So we replaced it with this flower. It looks, it resembles the hollyhock, but it is, it's not a hollyhock. The leaves aren't right for it to be a hollyhock. And I really wanted to add this bling that we have, this shimmer that we have here to it. So I think with, with that, we can get away with that also. Although the round one was pretty nice. So it's called Don't Get Stuck on One Thing. 
And this piece came off a old greeting card. There were other elements on it. It kind of went across the whole card. And I had cut them out and used them on another project and then saved this one. And I think it looks good on this page. And that gives us plenty of room for our thought for the day. At least I hope so. If not, we will go on to the second page. Now let's add some of those bigger. Well, we have some more of the little ones. It's just, oh, just three of them is all we have. So let's use some of the bigger pieces of gemstones over here. I don't know if we want to go down the length of it or just a couple across the top. You know what? Let's just use them up. They've been in my stash for a while. It's time to use them up. So there we have our page for the day. I should have done some stamping over here, but that's okay. We have lots of shimmer here and here now. We have our gratitude and our thought for the day. So we have our journaling room that we need. So there we go, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and we shall see you again tomorrow for day eight of Junk Journal January. Have a great day. Bye now.